when Jason was sick, he had told me he wanted me to find love again and move on. You know, he was like, it's not fair for you to live your life alone. Also, like, the, the kids need someone in their lives. And that uh, it wasn't fair, like, to him if I, you know, if I didn't, if I just lived my life, you know, not finding love again. And, of course, you know, I didn't expect to. After Jason passed away, I tried to keep occupied and busy, so I definitely watched a lot of social media videos. It was just an escape from everything going on in the real world. One night, my friend was doing a live stream challenge on TikTok. My friend kept winning, and the guy who lost was being so silly, and I was like, oh, he's cute. On TikTok, you can pay to send people gifts, so I sent him a rose, which is worth, like, less than a dollar. Later in that day, he sent me a private message. Over the next couple of days, we messaged back and forth, and before I knew it, we were talking on the phone every day and night, and I was just completely opening up to him, and then I think I, like, sent him a photo or something of me, and he was like, I want you to be only mine. And so it kind of like, just like went from there. Rossman is 26 years old. He lives in Bucharest, Romania. He is a model, singer, and social media entertainer. Hi, Amanda. Yes, mom, I will sleep soon. Sorry. I told Rosvin really early on that I was a widow, and he truly has been someone that I can lean on, and he has talked me through some of my worst days. You know. He makes me laugh all the time. He's silly, and he's kind of like a little bit dorky. Look how beautiful. That's amazing. I'm the pancake guy. He is super sweet, and He's just one of those people that will do anything for someone that he loves. We've been together for four months. Every morning when I wake up, he'll have, like, messages waiting for me. Babe, why you don't answer me? I'm joking. I know you are sleeping. I just want to say that I love you so much and call me when you wake up. Bye. I do feel some guilt being with Rosvin so soon after my husband's death. I know that he could never replace Jason, but we started to form this really deep connection. So in a few days, I am traveling to Romania to meet Rosvin in person for the first time. It's really a tricky thing to navigate. How, how do you move on? And it's not just myself, I have to think about my kids. I don't want my kids to think like I'm with someone else, you know, and that I don't love their dad anymore, because I do. I mean, I never thought that I would meet someone so quickly. It's like we just kind of got caught up in this whirlwind of, like, emotions. And we're like, I love you so much. I never even meet them in person. And to say these things is crazy. but. I just feel in my heart that we are meant to be and it will work itself out.